Hello, and welcome to the Indie Movie Mastery Podcast, What I Wish I Knew video series, where I put my podcast guests in the hot seat, and I ask them what they wish they knew about the five phases of producing when they first started their film careers. My guest today is Catherine Norland. She's a, an actor, a producer, a writer, and an all-around amazing human, and I want to know, Catherine, what you wish you knew when you first started about distribution and marketing. Okay. Distribution. Um... You know, everyone can do the research. It's so great now that having the internet at our fingertips and IMDb Pro where you can look up the distributors, what they've distributed, and see if your film fits that, you know, kind of fits their slate. Um, I guess what I wish I knew earlier on, you know, I'm, I think I need to be just more of a prepared person because I've kind of just, I go on a wing and a prayer and just kind of show up somewhere and hope I run into the right people, <laughs> which, you know, anyone who's gone to AFM to sell their film and is just wandering around aimlessly in the lobby, hoping they'll run into a distributor, <clears throat> it's not the right way to go about it. <laughs> it can work, um, but there's a more pointed, focused way so you're not spending seven days there hoping you'll run into the right person. And that would be to set up your meetings, do your research, set up your meetings in advance with the distributors that you think are right for your project. And even if you can't afford, um, you know, the pass, the seven day pass at AFM, when you've contacted those offices in advance, made appointments, they often have an extra floater badge and they can come down, meet you in the lobby, give you the badge and go up to their office and have a meeting with them. I mean, that's just being smart with your time and being more focused with who who you think would be right for your project. That's awesome. What a great tip. And what do you what do you wish you knew back then about marketing? Marketing. Um, you know, that one is kind of tricky. Obviously, the more marketing you have, the better. And uh, people nowadays just plop down in front of their Netflix or Amazon and see what they're promoting as the top thing that they're wanting you to watch. And a lot of people are so lazy, they don't even want to scroll through what the options are. So they're like, oh, I guess this looks good. And so having that top of mind um, advertising so people see it enough to want to go, oh, yeah, this looks good, only because they've seen the ad 10 times. Um, <laughs> yeah. But if you don't have that kind of a budget, um, you have to do more of a grassroots campaign and get – all of your actors on board and have like have a plan for them and tell them what you want your cast and crew when when to promote it when to put things out what to put out and have have it be more pointed and not just willy-nilly because if you've got a great project but you didn't you didn't put any money in your budget for the marketing you're it's going to be so much more difficult and you're going to really have to rally the troops and from my experience People are all excited when you say you're going to do a movie, but then the minute you yell cut or rap, they're nowhere to be found when it's time to promote it. So, yeah. so sign them up be, early on for the promotion part. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe even put it in their contract that they have to help you promote it. I don't know. <laughs> I've done that. I've done that before. That's actually pretty standard with actors. I don't think a lot of people know that. Like yeah. you have to let them know, you know, we want you to go to X amount of film festivals. We want you to mm -hmm. do, you know, X, Y, Z. Yeah, well, so, in, in the higher echelon budget, you know, that kind of stuff. But when you're just starting out and you're doing these little things, I think that's one of the things that gets overlooked. Definitely. Definitely. That's amazing insight. You guys, if you want to hear more from Catherine, she's the featured podcast guest this week on the Indie Movie Mastery podcast, which you can get at IndieMovieMastery.com. And if you'd like to follow Catherine on social media, it's at Catherine Norland. And her website is CatherineNorland.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.